guest list is complete. They're all pretty prompt. You don't fuss about with royals. Okay, house positions. Repeat, house positions. Good time, Mrs. Fultz. Special branch is still on their way. Women drivers. Quite a massacre. It's not even St. Valentine's Day. Why special branch in your lot? We were expecting the flying squad. This one, he isn't just any old prince. He is, was the crown prince. And these gentlemen are thought to be Mafia. You found the woman? Not yet. We found a pair of shoes and a piece of torn dress. Oh, and her fur coat was in a downstairs lavatory. Oh, better find her quick. I should freeze to death. Who owns this place? Retired building society, boss. He and his wife are wintering in the Bahamas. On our mortgage payments. Mine won't get him far. That one, Bowman, hired the place for a month. Big bucks, as they say. The help was hard for the night. They specialise in cocktail parties, dinners, that kind of thing. Devil's on horseback. You know, I think I'm right off food. And it's a young girl hold up in the woods. Hysterical. Nice work. Shall we, Inspector? You. We'll get you a hot drink. Oh, God, please don't let them touch me. It's all right, me. love. It's all right. Come on now. You're perfectly safe. Here now, can you hold this? Good. Oh, I could do with some of that myself. It's freezing. Have you got another cup? Oh, is it all right? Yes. Good. Put it down, you. Thanks. All right, what's your name now? Wendy. Wendy who? L Lucas. All right, Wendy, come on now. We've got to move you, otherwise you're going to get hyperthermia. Don't your toes dropping off, do you? 
Allison's got us a few yards. Can you manage, or do you want one of these strapping guys to give you a piggyback? I can manage. Right, come on, help you get. Finished. Oh, I'm finished, Mr. Ford. Thank you. Thank you found her before the exposure got to him. It was those lights. I thought it was them coming for me. They were going to kill me. I know they were. I heard them shouting at each other when I got away. Well, this will kill you even if they don't. It, it was for him. His Highness. Yes? This the boyfriend? Was. What happened? He didn't like what I do. What do you do? Model. Things like that. It's a lot of money to be carrying around, Wendy. He gave it to me, His Highness. Where'd you meet him? The Cottesloe Club, where I work. Oh? Well, I play for the house. You know, when things get a bit slack. Gamblers like a crowd. Yes. So that's where you met your prince? Yes. What was he doing with all those foreign gentlemen? Was it a private game or something? No. Business, some sort of consortium. They didn't want me there. But he made his own rules. Do you know who they were? No. I think your prince was keeping bad company. Look where he got him. <laughs> Make this any harder than it already is. I shall return to you very, very soon. Don't look at me like that. Adieu, ma chérie. Adieu. If you're tall, dark and handsome, or short, fat and stinking rich, not tonight. Tonight is my night. Hello, Mags. <laughs> Did your souffle go up or down? <laughs> Hell. I'm going to have an early night tonight. I went over the top a bit last night. I'm not going to have an early night. Yep. All right. I'll be there. We're gonna miss Ninochka. Garbo laughs. Oh, I missed the end. Poor old Napoleon going off into exile with Garbo and the little boy waving together. Mm. Hold on. I'm going to have to find you a tie and I'm going to have to squeeze into a frock. Frock? I've never seen you in a frock. Where are you going to put your piece? Well, a weekend special will fit nicely into my black velvet evening bag. Do give George my apologies. And I was so looking forward to it. Oh, no, not that marvellous duck you do. Oh, well, another time. You won't strike me off your list, will you? Bye. Bye, Dotty. Bye. I've ruined their table, and the obligatory chalky bicky is so ill these days. Don't you ever spend a night at home? What if I can help it? What's the blood off, have we? You look splendid. Oh, just a little something I ran up on the machine. On your salary? Let's see the label. Don't feel my collar. All right, Harrod's sale. Oh, yes, and the rest. Well, I've got the rundown on the, um, deceased. Bauman, New Jersey family, two gentlemen from Sicily, a couple of gents from Marseilles, and a lad from Toulouse. A trainee, I imagine, and the poor old crown prince. Hmm, the odd one out. Uh, not that odd. Big gambler, good loser, but I think he'd seen the light and was buying his way into the action. You still haven't told me where you got it. Um, church jumble sale. 
Old Stoic, stem giveaway, perfectly good ties. Well, maybe it was a garage sale. He was a bit skint. A likely tale. <laughs> Your dress is undone. Oh, can you do that, please? Hmm. Cool. Talk about rags to riches. Do we have to go to the ball? Yes. And I'm not going to be back by midnight, either. I'll watch out for the glass slipper. <laughs> Take one, the fairy godmother, to turn you into Prince Charming. Charming? No, I don't know any Wendy Lucas. Wait a minute, that's Wendy St. Clair. God, that's an old picture. She hasn't done her hair like that for ages. Yes, she works for us two or three nights a week. Beefs up the action the early part of the evening, that sort of thing. How many Wendy's do you employ? About half a dozen. The Arabs like having them around. The chinks don't, they think it's a bock. A bock? Superstition. Luck isn't always a lady. Oh, Wendy didn't bring the prince a lot of luck. She says she met Prince Khalid here the other night. Yes. You knew him? Knew him or know him. Past tense. He played the tables? Yes. A mad punter. No limit. You would be sorry to lose his business. Yes. What happened? A flying accident? No. Shooting accident. Wendy was with him. It seemed a present was involved. Now, how could that come about in a legit place like this? A uh, side deal. Under the table, so to speak. Something like that. Well, now we're here. A little flutter, I think. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid it's members only. I am a member. I beg your pardon, sir. Welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me. Do you want Groucho Marx said? I wouldn't want to join any club that had me as a member. They could hardly blackball me. <laughs> seven, seven, Lisa. Yes, I did it, I did it! Come on, my luck's in tonight. Come on. Shoot out at Sunningdale. Fuzz her about. Prince Khalid pulled one of the house girls. St. Clair. She was with him when he bought it. She killed two? No. They wipe out half the industry and miss out on a sitter like that. These people, they're animals, Jack. They don't negotiate. They bulldoze. I'll just send these off. with them before they come for me. But I think we'd better. They just might come for you, old chap. Old is right. I'm getting too old for this game. A license to print money. Never say die, Jack. How are you going to reach them? Not from here. Even the bugs are bugged. Finish the session, OK? Mm, I might as well. Movies, miss half the show. We come here, I just get my eye in, and it's action bloody station. Not for you, it isn't. You can go back and play out their winnings. How much are you up? About 90. Oh, you should carry on. You might win enough to retire from the service. Listen, I'll climb in the back. You might need some help. These are dodgy people you're dealing Maggie with. Maggie won't go for it. Thanks, but no thanks. That's him. Yes. Night, Rogers. Give us a bell next week, and maybe we'll catch a movie. 
And you thought you had chances, didn't you? You don't need guns, you lot. You're bloody bulletproof. Love will find a way. Eros's little arrow pierces armor plating. What do you know about this Ralph Fitzgeorge? Rafe, actually. We'll, we'll say the Rhine in Spain. Okay, okay, okay. He's a socialite, ex Herovian, charity fundraiser, and hustler. Well, they say it's the entrepreneurs that are going to lead us out of the recession. in the best possible taste. The casino is owned by Interplay, an international gaming group, and they in turn are owned by Batterpad. The chairman is Sir Giles Bradbury. Of course. Old school chum of Fitzgeorge's. Bat a pad. Bat and pad. Obvious. They're very big. All those bijou townhouses for top people. Motorways, leisure centers, steel mills. Lots of investments in the States. Oh, like uh, Casino? The Mob? That sort of thing? You do tend to see captains of industry in a rather murky light. Fellow was in the blues. Did a couple of hairy stints in Hmm. Can you give me a line on their American connection? It's the middle of the night in Washington. But I'll get on it. Oh, and how should you are such a pillar. Pillock, did you say? No, pillar. Oh, that's better. I was beginning to think you were getting above your station. Oh, Nigel, now, would I do that to you? Be in touch, right? Yes, ma'am. The cook's distraught. She's managed to knock up some salmon sallies. And here's some cheese for you, Ed. I don't know how we ever managed before you came along. Mm, not just a pretty face. If Rodders ever puts the ring on her, we'd be sunk. Well, there's no chance of that. Sometimes I worry about you, Sue. I don't know why. Mrs. Forbes, I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting. I had one of those board meetings that went on and on. I do hope Felicity's given you coffee. Oh, yes, I've been well looked after. Thank you, Sir Giles. Oh, you're all one of Nigel Belmont's crew, I gather. Good cricketer. A lethal bowler. It's all in the wrist, you know. I didn't, but I'm easily convinced. Please. Ah, how can I be of service to you? Well, I think it's I who can be of service to you. Uh, someone seems intent on cutbacks. Among your executives. Rafe Fitzgeorge. It's bad business, that. Good chum. God knows what it was all about. He was a bit of a hellraiser. Went to play the bounder once too often. And the um, two Frenchmen yesterday at Sunningdale? Uh, yes. I didn't actually know them. They'll be part of our Nice operation. Uh, what about the American acquisitions? Uh, do you have casinos there? Yes, well, I can't give you a straightforward answer to that one. We may well be into interrelated businesses, breweries, distilleries, and so forth. Do you know, and this will interest you, I don't even gamble. Or oh, flutter on the derby a day after the Ascot. Game of bridge, a few pence a point. Did you know the prince? Colin knew of him. We built a university out there, a hospital, a few other things. Profitable. That is how we stay in business. One of the girls on my team is something of a computer buff. She ran some checks on Batterpad before I came here. She says there are indications that you, Batterpad, um, are being raided. Rubbish, Mrs. Forbes. We are from time to time under siege, but we see them off in pretty short shrift. 
Now, the Mafia, easily seen off? Madam, I wouldn't know a mafiosi, or whatever one calls them, if he was staring me in the face. With the duty staff nurse report to casualty, please. The duty staff nurse report to casualty. Could I speak to Sir Giles Bradbury, please? No. No, no message. I'll call again, thank you. Well, I must say, you are the most unusual in the nicest possible <laughs> sense of the representatives of your country who have visited us today. I only hope I've convinced you we are not planning to take over the gaming industry. <laughs> Our role, as the world knows, is more inclined to be that of the... Uh, Hunter, as it were. <laughs> well, we all like a bit of fun. Yes, indeed. You must come again, Miss Smith, on a more convivial occasion. Perhaps you will permit me to get in touch with you. I'm sure your Mr. Beaumont will be able to lay hands on you. Well, that's one way of putting it. You must both come, of course. We'd love to, wouldn't we, Ted? Yes, thank you very much for your help. Uh, nothing but a pleasure. I assure you. Thank you. You must come again, Miss Smith, on a more convivial occasion. Oh, that's the elfin look. Probably wants to mother me. Oh, come on. He wants to smother you in lascivious kisses. Ooh, you should try the come on. If he ever saw you in that backless number, he'd probably buy you an oil well. He wants to lay hands on you. And so. to Mama. Oh, she has a funny way to get to land, Oh, well, maybe he got diverted. Yeah. What would happen to his chauffeur? He was the original tycoon. Wouldn't be seen dead without his status symbols. Seen dead? Maybe he didn't use his chauffeur when he was having a bit of the other. None of your chauvinists talk here. you're out of a job. What? I'm not due till 8 o'clock. May we come in? Oh, yeah. Yes, come in. Ernie! It's all right, Mother. Ernie, who are you talking to? Uh, there's something to do with the police. She is? I don't believe it. Hey, what are you talking about, out of a job? Your boss was killed last night in the docks. Good almighty. Why weren't you driving him last night? Too mean. With all that money. Oh, rest his soul and all that. Too mean to give Ernie a bit of overtime. If he was going to be late, he couldn't bear to think of Ernie running up a bit of extra. Is this your daughter? Yeah. Wendy. How come you know her name? Well, she worked for the firm, too, in a roundabout sort of way. Uh, Mother, make the tea. No, I want to know what's Again, going on here. Just what wants to was asked. Uh, we'll, um, we'll go to front. I'm not allowed to smoke in here. No bloody ashtrays. <laughs> she pretends not to know about Wendy. Know what about Wendy? Um, the governor had it off with her when she was, well, young. That's how I got the job. We could prove it, and all the rest of it. You haven't asked me yet how he was killed. All right, how? Bullet in the back of the head, compounded by drowning. Did he send you home last night? No, I didn't say that, she did. Now, I asked if I could knock off early. He didn't mind. He was tight, she was right about that. So you came home for a quiet night with Mother? Uh, no, I went to a spieler. Casino? No, a little place in Kilburn. 
I play kaluki with the chinks. Chinese? Yeah. What sort of Chinese? Well, well I don't know. Uh, waiters, what else? Have you seen Wendy lately? No. You spoken to her? No. Do you know where she was the day before yesterday? No. What about Mother? Would she know? Oh, no, no. Wendy doesn't come here very often. Just Christmas and uh, Mother's birthday, that sort of thing. She was at Sunningdale with the Prince and his playmates. She was the only one to get out alive. Yeah. Thank God. And now she's gone missing. Oh, God. Do you know where she might be? Charles Bradley. I know I told Too you bloody you late. Could use it. Call me. It's urgent. It Very urgent. If I'm not there, you can get me at Limehouse. I'll be there all evening. Must be a weight watchers. For hard times. Janice Elvira Russell. Do you want drug busts or soliciting? Neither, neither. I'm gonna go and talk to her. Hey, what's the rush? Cool, good thinking. Not just a pretty face. D.
Go away. Go away. I don't want any. Go the hell away. We're not going to get anything out of her for a while. Let's call a doctor. Mrs. Lucas, Tessa will run you home. I'd like Ernie to stay with me for a bit. Where are you taking him? Oh, I'm not taking him anywhere. There's just a few more things I need to know. I don't want to have to trouble you with them. Oh, he will be coming home. I don't want to be on my own. Yes, he will. There's no need for you to worry. She, she wasn't a bad girl. She wasn't really bad. She was such a pretty kid. She thought it was all there for the taking. People fussed over her. It was all going to happen for her. Page three, girl. Miss this, miss that. Hey, you, sir. Drugs and all. She has to end up in there. Oh, my little Wendy. Where are we going? Headquarters. What are you talking about? Police headquarters? No, yours. They'd break me bloody legs if I took you in there. They admit ladies. Not your sort, they don't. They'd suss you in a minute. Well, we'll take that chance. No! Uh, hold on. You told them about Sunningdale, didn't you? Oh, I got in deep. I didn't know they knew about Wendy. They knew she had a habit, didn't they? She, she asked me to get her some stuff. And you did? I put it in touch, yes. It was all his bloody fault. He started onto it. Swinging parties, sniffing coke. They all thought they were untouchable. But the chinks were pulling the strings. The triads, they want it all. All right, Fred, home to mother. Rough night? Yeah, long one. Who is Harry Wang? That card of yours, you vice squad. No. Do you want us to give him a ring? We know about Buffy and her parties. She's a madam, right? Who is Harry Wang? A punter. Gambler? A punter, you know. Likes a good time. Who is he? A chink. Mongolian. Evil bastard likes him a bit younger than me. So Buffy laid on a thrash for him, loaded, is he? Yeah. Where's he hang out? Christ knows. He flies in now and again. What's he in? Nobody asks. Oh, come on. You've got to do better than that. Look, call the bloody vice squad. That's as far as I go. Wendy Sinclair didn't get your message. I know. She didn't turn up. It was a bit difficult. She was dead at the time. They found splinters of bamboo stick. She was killed with it. God. Tell us about this turn you were going to do for Harry Wang. The answering machine. They killed her. She didn't know anything. They were just there to amuse them. There'd be coke and that, but I'm not into it. Some of them are. The 
like Western girls. Makes them feel, I don't know, big, I suppose. They never talk to you. Peel off a few notes. Big ones. They're all in the money. Oh, Wendy. Poor little sod. Beaumont, Mrs. Forbes, this is Jacques Dubois. He is in charge of operations. Since the death of Ray Fitzgeorge. That is correct. I'm sorry you had to go to the gaming board. I can assure you we have nothing to hide. Of course not. It's simply a matter of channels. We British do everything through channels. Yes, I understand. You flew from Nice after the Sunningdale massacre. I came to take charge, temporarily, after Rafe's death. But you knew your two colleagues who were killed at Sunningdale. Yes, of course. What were they, Mr. Dubois? Financial controllers, accountants. Laundry men? I'm sorry. Your parent company took a dive yesterday in London. But there's been considerable activity in Tokyo and Hong Kong. Mr. Beaumont, I don't follow the market. Too much of a gamble. Who do you work for, Mr. Dubois? The company, of course. We could have watched from inside. Mm, you can't always have it easy. Easy? 24 hours a day, you call that having it easy? Missing our silver spoon, are we? Not on the class bit again, are we? Tell us about your folks. It's all on the files. And don't tell me you didn't have a little probe. Bless my heart. Well, Mum was a lady. Still is when she isn't plastered. Little drinkies. Big drinkies. And Dad was sort of a pleb but made it by marrying the chairman's daughter. But, of course, he blew it by having an affair with one of the client's wives. So he started out on his own. Disaster. And then he met my stepmother. Ghastly woman. But she's got money. So there you go. He's not a bad man. Just weak, that's all. And your mother didn't remarry? She really loved him. Well, don't you go the same way? <laughs> You're joking. Hey, is that his car? That's the one. Stripping of cash there. Of course, smooth car, too. OK, let's go. There's no rush. Well, why not? Because I've done him up, haven't I? Without clearance. It's all in hand. As soon as Mags rounds up a magistrate. Next exit, Deary. Roger, Deary. Right. Do you want a break? No, no, no. He's turned right again. Where's he going now? Past him. Okay. 
Turn around. There's nothing on this mat. Okay, pull him by these trees. Here. Those it doesn't matter. What do you mean? I didn't bug the car. You bugged him. Well, put it in his Lacoste sports bag. What have you left it in the car? Well, we've set her and cock and a change of knickers. See, Alan Cotton? Oh, Natch. <laughs> the old Lake Bridge estate, complete with deer park, hunting lodge, trout fishing. Excellent shoot. Finally went in death duties. Awfully sad. Drive on, Biddles. We don't want to draw undue attention to ourselves. A morning. Can I help you? Yes. Do you have open days? I mean, days open to the public? No. Well, this is the Lakebridge estate. It was. It's been taken over. Uh, who owns it now? The private company. Well, maybe if I rang the bell. Yeah, why don't you? The old charm doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> It's more to keep people out than cattle in. I don't see no cattle. Exactly. Hey, that's a funny thing. What? I could have sworn I saw a shotgun. Well, it is the season. Gentlemen, don't use swords. Ready to get through to Maggie? Yeah, and I've warned her about the fencing. PBI to staff over. That you, Fred? Yeah, we're on the spot. There's a few shooters about. May need some backup. We're nearer than you think. Okay, good. What's PBI? Poor bloody infantry. God, you've led a sheltered life. Leader to patrol. Gentlemen, it seems we have visitors. As quickly as you can, gentlemen. 
Join the club. Involuntary membership. do anything. It's a bit haywire, I'm afraid, sir. Some damn fool stepped on the alarm. One of our chaps got winged, not too serious. The girls, oh, they acquitted themselves rather well. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir, I will. The minister sends his commendations. Well done, girls. Hear yeah, that, Fred? We got a mention. Fred? Stuff the minister. Mm -hmm. 